my friends have taught me to enjoy the moment. I bring that up because as I, as I work on here, as I build my collection of work, add to the gallery, I have to um, remind myself as, why am I doing this? Why, am I, why do I brush my teeth while well, to dental hygiene? Why am I creating this collection of work? For financial rewards, sharing knowledge, acquire rewards that I could share with uh, friends. Because what good is uh, is a big pie, a big pizza? big cake if you can't share it with someone. And it's um uh, been a, a challenge to balance out um, different values, um, business for pleasure, um, keeping focus, uh, keeping a uh, standard quality control of what you're doing, a fair look of uh, quality control at what you're doing. And uh, it, it keeps me up with the, um, keeps me going with the addition of caffeine. It's like uh, reading a great book, getting great, getting great service somewhere, where someone um, goes further than the rest, does more than what's uh, required. And I think, uh, why can't I also? And it's uh, it is a challenge because I keep on I'll keep on beating the same drum that um, people you get a lot of people say well that's not part of my job requirement that's not in the job description um, I'm not getting paid to do that. Uh, come on, dog. We um, we already clocked out. They're waiting for us at the club. And I think, uh, fuck, man. Just because you have a few bucks in your pocket doesn't mean that that's um, enough to retire on. And if your comrades or your boss or your friends need you, fuck it. Um, give up the hand. Give out a hand. Man, there's, there's so much to do around the world, so much. And I know that with uh, with having a uh, strong wallet, I can do more.
I do want to go out and hang out with my friends, but great people, great people, loving people. But I know I gotta do this because um, I've been unfocused for many years, not pushing as hard, not um, not making it happen. And these friends, I know they'll be there. I know that they're still there. I know that they're gonna call me an asshole when I see them. Sup, fucker, where you been? Making it happen. And they'll be like, I know. Do you need anything? And uh, they're doing their own thing, so I'm not going to be like, uh, come on, would you? <laughs> would you spend more time with me, dog? Come on, man, don't, don't be like that. Let's go get drunk. Nah. Sort of want to make this darker here. This. And without any guarantee of success, I keep on going because I, man, I, my gut tells me to keep on going. Like, I, like, really can't give you words. Because even as I search for them right now, I can't spit them out. And being submerged, submerging my mind in so much um, optimistic thinking, so much consideration for the cosmos, life, existence, consciousness. And it's been a real, uh, it's been a chill factor, is that it? It's been, uh, it's helped me relax a lot. Also, at the same time, it makes me um, this is a strong word, a bit impatient because I think of other people and I think, man, why are you? Um, I'm trying to think about the red here. And why, why are you freaking out, man? What the hell's wrong with you? I think Jim Rohn puts it as mysteries of the mind as to why some people freak out. Some people can hold their bearing. Some people have vision.
I remember hearing this one dude say it thousands of times, hundreds of times. Don't talk about it, be about it. It got so annoying, but uh, it snuck with me. I'm glad it was uh, at least constructive petition.